Hey everyone, this is Robin over at the 4 Art Space, and today we are talking with Cesar Sanchez, and we're going to talk about um, substrates, because Cesar works on paper, on plaster, he's worked on wood, canvas, so Cesar, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Um, so basically, I just want to ask you, does the substrate that you work on inspire the piece, or how do you go about deciding what to work on? Yeah, sometimes the substrate uh, remind me of something, and I thought that it would be nice, or it would be fit right into the image I have in my head. But um, in other locations, um, I try to um, approach like the more close to the thing I am talk, uh, thinking, and that's how I start experimenting with things. And sometimes I find other substrate of rather the canvas and uh, I can say <laughs> it, it could be nice or or very interesting put it instead of the traditional canvas or other substrates. Mm -hmm. So for you, do you sometimes start with the substrate and then all of a sudden some idea comes then? Or more often you have an idea and then you decide the substrate? No, sometimes I have something in my hands and then something click in my head and say, oh, do you know what, this could be amazing. So I start working with it, and normally the thing don't <laughs> end like the, the idea in my head, but I try my best. Yeah, because behind you, that's this is um, Cesar's work behind him here, um, and some of the pieces that you see are on um, plaster, correct? Yes. So yeah. um, what are some of the um, things that you found that you've learned along the way in terms of creating on this particular substrate, because it can be tricky, right? Because yes. it's probably pretty real easy to paint on it, but then you have to figure out how to hang it, yeah. um, how to keep it from cracking, yeah. that kind of stuff. So have you have you figured some things out now moving forward? Yes, yeah, um, in this series I'm I was uh, moving things around my house and I grabbed a piece of drywood that broke and the paper came out and that uh, revealed the plaster inside the, the drywall. So I was uh, immediately thinking that, oh, it could be a part of a new room and it would be super cool if I say, mm, what about if that new room came out of the wall and I just pick a piece that I want to keep for myself. So I started uh, peeling the, all the paper in the drywall, and I started thinking about the image that the most, I most like about all other murals, like famous murals and all this stuff. And I started uh, trying to paint on it, but it was super difficult because the plaster is super dry, and the, the brushes don't move along with the plaster. So I need to prepare the plaster with um, I put gesso and white glue and white paint. And I start you know, preparing the plaster and I could paint more easily. Fantastic. Well, we are going to get in depth later on with your work and, of course, have longer artist conversations. But I appreciate that you came by Thanks. to do this little interview with us to kind of introduce you and your work. And um, so we will have, of course, um, links to where you can look at um, Cesar's work in, in the descriptions. Um, so thanks, everyone. Thanks, Cesar, for coming by. Thank you,